We can get outside the universe. I mean in the sense of putting a model of the universe inside our skulls. Not a superstitious, small-minded, parochial model filled with spirits and hobgoblins, astrology and magic, glittering with fake crocks of gold where the rainbow ends. A big model, worthy of the reality that regulates, updates and tempers it. A model of stars and great distances, where Einstein's noble space-time curve upstages the curve of Yahweh's covenantal bow and cuts it down to size. A powerful model, incorporating the past, steering us through the present, capable of running far ahead to offer detailed constructions of alternative futures and allow us to choose. Peter and Jean Medower, in one of their books, said, only human beings guide their behavior by a knowledge of what happened before they were born and a preconception of what may happen after they are dead. Thus, only humans find their way by a light that illuminates more than the patch of ground they stand on. The spotlight passes, but exhilaratingly, before doing so, it gives us time to comprehend something of this place in which we fleetingly find ourselves, and the reason that we do so. We are alone among animals in foreseeing our end. We are also alone among animals in being able to say before we die, yes, this is why it was worth coming to life in the first place. Now, more than ever, seems it rich to die, to cease upon the midnight with no pain, while thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad in such an ecstasy. John Keats. A Keats and a Newton, listening to each other, might hear the galaxies sing. <laughs>